Welcome to Las Vegas for the Event 3 final table of the PGT PLO Series. We got Daniel Negreanu in the house. This is going to be an epic one. The buy-in of the event was $5,000. We had 118 total entries. We are down to the final six. Let's see who takes this thing down. Daniel Negreanu taking center stage along with one of the most accomplished PLO players in the world, Mr. Dylan Wiseman. We'll introduce all these other players as well. My name is Rem Korinkama, Donnie Peters alongside me. Let's have some fun with this one as we look at the chip counts and none other than Mr. Hall of Fame himself leads the way with 3.9 million chips. A bunch more players to introduce, including Curtis Muller, who is a PLO mastermind coach. More on that in just a few minutes. Let's have a look at those payouts. $147,500 up top for the winner. The final six guaranteed $29,500. The name of the game is Pot Limit Omaha. Every player gets four cards. The format is Pot time, Limit, so if you're new to the game, <laughs> no, like, we'll try to confused. introduce this <laughs> as well as we can. It's like, are the cameras going <laughs> yeah, That's kind like, of how it worked for a minute. <laughs> harder every day for you. Hey, you know? Every day it's getting a little harder. Oh, right. man, what's going on over here? <laughs> We used to have it made. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. And now we're the enemy. What did we do? Yeah. I love playing with you guys. This is great. <laughs> Fun group of characters. Thank you. Donnie, I'll say this right away. They don't need us today. Anytime Daniel's at the much. table, I, I so feel like we're just not needed at all. He, he really does drive the conversation. Yeah. Other than that time he was sitting next to Thanks. Justin Bonomo. But, but other than that, box. you know, Daniel does drive the chatting. Nice still, Dylan Wiseman pretty chatty for the aesthetics. Own right. For like a second? Yeah. That's it. Here it is. First hand off the deck. Dylan Wiseman there with the glasses. If you're new to Pot Limit Omaha, you might as well get very acquainted with that man. <laughs> He's basically at every one of our final tables. Negrano with the little lineup. The hair looks good. I feel like he's ready for some TV time. Donnie, he's been in the mix the first three events. This is, of course, the third event of this series. Uh, seemingly Testing. feeling right at home here in the studio, Donnie. Yeah, first cash no. of, of this PGT PLO series, but I mean, Daniel yeah, has gotten off to a very okay. good start on the PGT this season. This is, I believe it's his eighth PGT cash. I think that makes and it's very early, you know, it's only March right now. Not even halfway through this series. Still have USPO coming up, of course, all the World Series stuff and then everything in the back half of the year. But that quality over quantity approach that he set out with for this year, trying to right the wrongs of last year when he lost more than $2.2 .2 million. Daniel is certainly moving himself in the right direction. We have a uh, debutante as well here at the final table. Lance Patel, a anesthesiologist from San Diego. Donnie, he has been to the Strip, or uh, excuse me, he's been to Las Vegas about a dozen times, has never left the Strip. So this man just comes in, has fun, goes home. Love to see that. And also, Donnie, he was the first player to register for this event. Love e it. Eager, you know, ready to go, ready to play. And now here he is at the final table with Daniel Negreanu. Got to give a shout out to Pot. our man, Lance. There he is. Oh, and he finds aces. Speak of timing. Raising from the button right away. Action on Dylan Wiseman in the big blind. Patel raising to 350. Started this hand with 825 and gets to win a hand here at the final table. First one in, last one out, possibly? Yeah, it's <laughs> very possible. First you ever played or just first one in here? Uh, first one in here. It's like third, second PLO tournament. They're fun. PLO tournaments are fun. Yeah. Cause every little thing gonna be all right. Mm -hmm. Daniel is don't in worry a good mood. About things. Cause every little thing. Daniel, you have yellow <laughs> chips, right? Somewhere? Yes, sir. Right. Heaps. Right. No, you want me to put them up like right here for you? Be good. <laughs> He's like, yes. Somewhere like. Can you make them a legal bet, actually? <laughs> he puts them. Huh? Make them a legal bet. <laughs> yeah. Cross the line. Okay. As I mentioned, the ground of the chip leader. All right. 39 big blinds. Donnie, quite a tight field. One double up could make nope. any player chip Tight's leader, right. with the exception of Patel, right who is uh, the shorter stack. Yeah, I mean, it, it's a bit of a contrast from what we saw at least no, yesterday. Elis no, Parson, you know, sandwich, had that but I will be eating a sandwich. I'll <laughs> be for eating a sandwich lot of the final table, minutes. at least until heads up play. I made here, my own, things are as always. 
bunched a little bit more closer. Is it toasted? I did not toast it, but I gave it a nice, a nice good bread bun. You know, I like a, I like a good bun. What kind of bread? Like a rustic kind of I don't know, brioche. <laughs> no, it's not a brioche. For for regular listeners like to town. our broadcast, Johnny and I talk a lot about hmm? pizza. It's not at your body either. But I'd say bread is probably my second favorite one. topic as far as the food. Very go. impressive bread knowledge. Yeah, I'd take it. <laughs> <laughs> bread connoisseurs over here. Muller here in the one seed, as I mentioned. PLO Mastermind coach. If you want to check them out, plomastermind.com slash poker go. We have a special offer. You can sign up for free and try out their phenomenal PLO experience. I've learned a lot already. I've been I've been playing around with it the last couple of days. As Agarwal makes the call here, taking us two to turn. Kay. Our first big pot of the day. Muller well ahead here with a straight Agarwal with two pair. Yeah, good turn card here also with that second club. Muller gets the check mark here, Agarwal with two pair. Muller, of course, beat by Broadway, but he's gonna see that his king nine is best here and a nice little early chip up here for Muller. Yeah, for those who may be new to PLO, the check back there is because, as Remco said, beat by Broadway. You have to play two cards, so Muller couldn't just play the king to make his own he Broadway. Oopsie as, doopsie. As the uh, table <laughs> falls apart here at the Poker Go studio. Oh, there's a board here. <laughs> the table falling apart. Don't worry. As long as it's not an aquapana. Probably a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> Hit and run. What is that? A giant whiteboard? It's a panel it's just, uh, covering, <laughs> covering all the wires in here. Yeah. And pat and the wires are just flapping, pat falling out. Depending on it, too. A panel. Negrano dismantling our the panel. streaming table. Why is it still pending, then? Yes. That's why they're like, I feel like this has been in existence prior. That's why it's pending. By the way, if you're in the chat with us, please let us know where you're watching from. It's very much appreciated, as always. We're doing nine straight PLO final table streams from the PokerGo studio in Las Vegas. We'll have an overall series champion at the end of it. If you missed that yesterday's thing. final table, Elis Parson and Isaac Kempton put on quite the show. Good. Definitely yeah, worth a rewatch if you're a PLO fan. Right. If you're enjoying today's stream, I please smash that like button and subscribe to our channel. Queen, 10, 8, 4, 1, suit. A walk, huh? Nine. Clubs. Just giving walks? What are we doing? Had you crushed? Six handed, too. Uh, <coughs> no. Payouts for this event can be found in the description of the video. King, King, Jack, 10. <laughs> Speaking of uh, PLO hands, Donnie, this is sort of what you're after. Yeah, this is this is a great starting hand. Broadway cards, double suited. Nothing to play with for Bruno in the big blind, and Agarwal, sadly, receiving no action on his premium holding. Just tuning in. This is the final table of the PGT PLO series event number three. 
coming at you from our Triangle Studio, which is our, our smaller studio. If you've never watched one of our streams, we have two studios to stream from. The upcoming U.S. Poker Open, which starts about a week after this series finishes, will be on center stage. We'll have all those final tables streaming on PokerGo.com. We'll have plenty of action as well to show you on our YouTube page. By the way, we're still amidst day daily releases of our WSOP Classic episodes. Donnie, it's hard to still call them classic at this point because <laughs> we've made our way into 2016. But still, how fun is it to relive some of those? They're great. I put them on pretty much daily as, as I'm working. You know, it's good to have that that background fun. show, so much noise, fun whatever you want to call it. Last every street. Yeah. I wish I was like, he's got to figure it out first and then I can just do whatever. Yeah, but I get to go first. That's Yeah, but that's not better. Well, did you bluff <laughs> first? <laughs> yeah, of course. Silly. Wiseman versus Negrano, the two most experienced players under the bright lights of our studio going head to head on an ace, ace, four flop. Both players with an ace. Donnie, potentially some trouble brewing here for Negrano with the inferior ace. Yeah, it could be. I mean, I don't expect him to go too crazy, I think. Oh, he clicked it. Look at this. Yeah, Wiseman betting 225. Negranu on the button, in position, raising it up to 450. It's going to be an interesting spot here for Wiseman, given the stack of Patel, who's on just over 10 big blinds, about 11 big blinds. So, you know, I, how much is, is Wiseman going to be paying attention to the ICM factor? Does he want to risk it here? Can I just make the call? You guys can see the equity, 61% for Wiseman, 39% for Negranu. So it's still pretty close, you know, gi given the hands, because Negranu has a lot of full house outs. Now, now he turns diamonds as well. Yeah, diamonds almost more like an emergency draw here, as it is likely now pr as well in the mind of Negranu that Wiseman could have an ace. Negranu having <coughs> ace 10, in my opinion, making him likely to check back here. Maybe hoping to catch, you know, a 10, 8, or a 7. But nope. what do I know? Ooh, he's going. Wow. Negranu puts Wiseman to the test here. With ace-king, Wiseman, of course, aware that he only has to worry about fours, fives, and ace-four. Donnie, and as, as easy as it seems to not be up against those hands, in a game like Pot Limit Omaha, even though your hand is very strong, you're going to feel very insecure. I, I agree. I would trust, you know, Dylan Wiseman, I think probably at the top of the list among anyone to be able to, to figure out this spot. But it's certainly not easy. I could definitely be folding a chop. It's real. There we, there we go. Folding a chop is real. You know, that might be okay. Negrano applying pressure at the right time here. And there it is. Wiseman tosses Ace King into the muck. <coughs> Very nice pickup for Negrano, who tweeted before the final table started that the <coughs> post flop play in Potley Mid Omaha really suits his playing style. And he's putting no, that on display that. right away. Yeah. <laughs> Just, yeah, call okay. him and race him in. I would love to be able to see inside the, the mind of Daniel like when spot. Dylan I said I could be folding a chop. Because yeah. Daniel was probably like, uh oh. Uh -oh. You know, I because. You did, you know? Waste, then Wiseman the time probably bank. has it in his king ace queen first time type of holding, it. right? Yeah, it's not for sure. It's probably not supposed to hold, but you know. Sounds like a man with an ace. An ace and a king. Ace and a king. Probably two other cards. Yeah, probably. Yeah. But those two yeah. cards weren't. Those cards didn't, didn't help. They really didn't help. Deuce. Yes. It was deuce. It's deuce three. It could help. No, no, no. no. The deuce. deuce is not a good card. <laughs> he flopped it, right? This is a bad deuce, card. Deuce, deuce yeah. The straight? You turned it, right? The straight, yeah. yes. The yeah. deuce three I had. <laughs> oh. You know we're going to see your hand after you. Yeah, he said <laughs> it. I was just <laughs> facetiously saying. I do uh, not have deuce than a three. I didn't have any deuce or any three, actually. 
my hand is he questionable. Just, way too much information from there now. Yeah. I'm still just learning about the button thing. <laughs> wow, Regano keeps picking up nice hands to play with. The queen, jack, 10-9, double suited. It doesn't get much better than that. Joey Ingram in the chat with the WTF. I wonder if that WTF was for wise What did you say, full. cold and minraise? Yeah, 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 that's it. Easy game. Okay. Bruno Firth here playing a hand against Negrano. Ace, nine, seven here, two hearts. Aces and sevens for Firth. Granu has a pair of nines at least, and then straight draws. As it, as it is the case for many players here in the PGPLO series, Firth also has his two largest live scores beautiful in hand. So the great game beautiful. of PLO. Sounds like I win. No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's a beautiful hand, like double suited and everything. That's I'm gorgeous. With you. you know? Beautiful cards. You had a pair, Daniel. I know, and that's why I almost and just, a straight draw. That's why I thought actually I had a wrap on the flop. Locking it up. I Back did. I, like when I saw the flop, <laughs> I thought I had eight, ten jack, and then I was checking the call, but then I realized no. I really thought you were gonna min raise me. Yeah. That's what I was kind scared of. A scared of actually. A little bit of a different situation. What a beautiful hand. Oh, those are the hands you dream of. You wake up in the morning. And say, oh, give me oh, nine, yeah. ten jack, queen, double suit. Let's You're go. Run down, double give the guy yeah. aces. <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> Firth, by the way, from Maryland, sporting the Canada hat. <laughs> I wonder if that's to get some additional, you know, full equity, maybe a few walks from Daniel Negreanu. I mean, it looks like he got some full equity there, you know? <laughs> I mean, Daniel, Daniel could appeal right, to try this button thing, Daniel. <laughs> Daniel Negreanu well out in front here, Dylan Wiseman and Lance Patel. Pretty much neck and neck for the shortest stack. Kiss your stack. Patel Couple here aces. with the inquiry. Finds pocket aces on the button. Best case scenario off the short stack. And he tosses in the hot size or? raise. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> what, like he did say before line? this hand, I'm going to uh, try the button thing yeah, out. Almost five. So. And then he finds a, finds a good one. Uh, quarter short. 475 well, might, might end up going with this one, oh, given the positions. Oh. <laughs> got hungry. You made that yourself and then wrapped it like that? Yep. Yeah, it I have these at home. It looks like you got it from a deli because of that. You're legit yeah. eating a sandwich. <laughs> and I know. Lucy Goosey. Ah. <laughs> I paid $9 for that since you wrapped it. No. <laughs> You're not rich enough to buy this one uh -huh. right now. Yeah, but you wrapped it up, so it went up in value. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and look at this. Muller coming this table. over the top. He uh, a I call. Wrap. Like a and there it is. Patel yeah. finds yeah. what he is looking Still for. Open. An opponent with an inferior yeah. hand. Nice. Oh, boy. All right. Yeah, great spot here Let's for go. Patel. Dylan, you got to pray for some hearts. <laughs> oh, I am. Clubs. <laughs> no, no. Clubs, clubs, clubs. Little error there nice with the graphic. Like <laughs> Wiseman <laughs> not <laughs> involved here. It is Wheel Patel versus really Muller. Patel's tournament life on the line Just put the with pocket aces. What would you fold? What happens uh, when both players see the Two threes. Yeah, two threes. <laughs> I don't know if that cancels it out. Three, three, seven, I think. All right, we got to hope for some hearts. They were clubs, though. We need clubs. There we go. Cards are back. Yeah, yeah. graphics team quickly adjusting, and here we are. 69% equity for Patel. Can he hold up is the question. One, three. Eight, three, four. Man, shouldn't have bolted. So far, so good, I guess. Muller with the backdoor hearts, flops a three right now as it no stands, seven side. outs no. to send Patel <laughs> to the rail. I think your threes are dead. It was either deuce, deuce, If, seven if two Wiseman's three. cards were correct, he had two threes. Turn queen card. It is. The queen of clubs. That's two pair for Muller. Sneaky two pair with the queen three. Very well disguised. Patel now looking for a ten, an, the ace of diamonds, an eight or a four to survive or else he'll be our first casualty from this final table. River card, the king of spades. That's Fine not going to do it. Good guys. Nice hand, good game. Good game. Good game. Good game. Good game. Hey, nice hand. GG. Lance Patel 
his first tournament in Good the run. studio. He was the first one to register. Played that one great. He bust in sixth place. Terrific run by him. Calling the queen him. on the turn and then hitting it was... Well done, Finesse. sir. Patel takes home $29,500. And who knows, maybe we'll see him in do. some yeah, future events here at really the studio. Good. Hopefully. Hopefully no sour taste going out with the aces there. I mean, that's just tournament poker for you. The variants can come up you to bite you in the rear end. Bold, right? no. Great run by him. I'd, I'd do 3-3-7 three, three, and try suit. Just not bold. You're just flat. Yeah. Did Dylan Weissman just say you know tri-suit? Happy to provide my services for First time I've ever heard me anyone too. say tri-suit. <laughs> tri-suit? <laughs> I've never heard that before. Especially after that hand against Daniel, I was so demoralized. <laughs> <laughs> Not actually. If, if, if Joe Ingram is still in the chat, <laughs> can you please let me know if try suit is a regular he uh, just phrase me. Probably in not. the great game? It'd be a weird spot to bluff me. Well, what's a bluff look like there? Uh, bluff 7788. Seven, eight. <laughs> yeah, it's not. Yeah. <laughs> six, not six, my hand. 6677, seven. that's what bluffs look like. <laughs> yeah. If you want to know. Daniel needs to put that sandwich down and that's get back to being the chip leader. You want to hear something funny, Donnie? <laughs> yeah, go ahead. <laughs> One of my favorite favorite people that I get to work with on a daily basis is Mr. Sean Shimtoff. Shout out to him for oh. doing such great work. He provides us with bio sheets of these players. Oh, the Negranu bio sheet is thicker than the bio sheets of all the other players combined. Like, it is the list of things Thank to you. say about Negranu is so long that he needs his own document. I'm also not going to toss the ground with bio away. <laughs> I know plenty of this about this guy. Just watch me cut myself on this stage <coughs> right now. We are three ways here. Muller limped the button. Fresh off eliminating Patel in sixth place. Wiseman called at small blind. Agarwal checked from the big blind. Checked through on the king eight Queen flop. Another king comes on the turn. Wiseman's hand, just in terms of percentages, way out in front here. <laughs> Shout out to Joe Ingram in the chat. It says only the biggest PLO nerds use tri suit. I think Dylan Wiseman would see it as a compliment if I call him a PLO nerd, for sure. And also shout out Jay Nandes, who says tri suit is legit. Mr. Nandes, if you're in the building, feel free to burst into the commentary booth. You're always more than welcome to come hang out. I know, I know you're in. I know you're somewhere nearby. Or maybe he's fourth place in event number one. Jay maybe, Nandes, maybe CEO of PLO Mastermind. Maybe he's watching from the <laughs> table. That's also a possibility. We saw 10 checks in that hand, Donnie. <laughs> 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 Three on each street, and then Agarwal in the big Too late now, well. but you forgot to do number hands. Huh? Uh, no, we can do it. I'm saying, but it'd be too late on this round. Uh, this level's over. Huh? <laughs> I think that's probably better. You're supposed to do it at five <clears throat> minutes, right? Yeah, I think, I think it's better yeah, to play it out. Play it out. Yeah. Sorry, guys. That's okay. Sorry. No one was stalling or doing I anything. I forgive you. I didn't even know that was supposed to happen. In case people were How many time worried, worried, Can make sure it's worried about Negrano's financial status after a rough year last year, <laughs> him drinking Voss water shows that he's still doing quite well. Well, he, he did make his own sandwich, though, so it maybe that, that's the balance. Right, 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 right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I wonder how much I have to pay Negrano to bring me a sandwich in the morning. Let's make two. I want to try. I want to try one of his sandwiches. He always raves about all these little toppings that he has. I mean, they they look legit. Every time I've seen them, they do. They look they look good. Action folds around to Wiseman on the button. Ace Queen Jack Eight with a suit. Three fifty. Mm -hmm. Three fifty. You don't have position this time. I had a million twenty-five. Yeah, sorry. you don't have much money though. <laughs> you don't position, Daniel. <laughs> you don't have much money. <laughs> Three fifty, huh? I made it the maximum. Ricky, 
see if Negrani takes a swing here. Maybe he comes in with just a call. Only 675 behind for Dylan Wiseman after he put in that pot sized raise on the button. Call it is. Wiseman, 675 more. Cool. Wiseman with, with the tri suit. I thought you were saying the flop. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Six, six. I'm going to say this every time now. Uh, King 6-6 six, six on the board. Negrano with the ace-high flush draw. Goes for check. I would have liked I would have liked a, an all-in lead here from Negrano. That would have been quite the play. Applying that pressure on Wiseman. Oh, excuse me. There's, there's another player involved. That I is off the top rope. Off the, <laughs> like <laughs> he just took some cards off the top of the deck and said, "Let me get in here." Teleports into the middle of the hand. Wait. Okay, we're, we're clearly having some graphic issues. Apologies for that. This is also on me for not paying enough attention. I just thought that it was Nirvana versus Wiseman. Mm -hmm. What are you talking to you? It, everyone. I think everyone <laughs> thought that. Okay. We're starting to. You don't have position. Like I don't have million twenty five. Yeah, you don't oh, have wait. money though. Oh, we went back in time. <laughs> you don't position wow. Daniel. <laughs> but you don't we did go back money. in time. <laughs> okay. Okay. I am glitch in the matrix. I thought I was losing my mind. But yes. <laughs> glitch in the matrix. So now we went forward. And now we went forward. Okay. That, <laughs> this this is this is wild. I'm tripping right now. And looking at the chip counts at the top. I believe Negranu on that hand, that because we fast-forwarded at the end there, he probably just check-jammed or check-potted it with that flush draw. And Dylan didn't have anything on the King 6-6 six, six flop, so he folded, and that's why he has 525,000 behind. I, I, ca I kind of like this, though. Correct? <laughs> you, you know how we used to have the, the beef, beef uh, or the, the Jack Link's um, wild card hand? Yeah. This is the wild card hand. <laughs> we got to just piece it together <laughs> through time travel. Uh, Shout-out to producer Aiden, by the way, who does a tremendous job Almost all the time, <laughs> but he has the power to time travel, which we use that power to cut out our breaks, so you guys don't have to watch uh, highlights on the breaks. I think someone might have pressed pressed the little uh, time travel button, um, but yeah, there we go. The ground took that one down. Wiseman now in serious trouble, and we're back to normal poker. It's gonna create a little bit of a fun dynamic here, ICM wise with. Dylan Wiseman being so short. Daniel doesn't do it there, but we'll see if he wants to start kind of opening things up, putting the pressure on his opponents. As long as Wiseman is lingering there with. Huh? We have the same hand class. Pair, pair. Three big blinds or so. Three and a half. Chances are yours is better. As a jack. Yeah, it's good. Uh, Spruce Moose says, I imagine a DNX check raised all in and Dylan folded. I'm going to go they with that same increase. assumption yeah. there. These things jump given really quick. And then it goes the one, information two. that we had. Yeah, it's very big. Oh, yeah, this is 50%. Double the blinds and two levels. Yep. Double the blinds. Easy okay. turbo. <laughs> Whereas, what, like level six and seven is the same or something? Okay. Well, it's good we can jump into the 10K quickly. If you can, some of us will be here longer. Problem. Here comes Dylan Wiseman. Wow. Sandipity. The blinds are up to 75,000, 150,000. Dylan Wiseman under the gun here. Pots it. Five and a quarter exactly. You can't even play in position, San Daniel. I know that's that sucks. Yeah. For those just tuning in. Final five guaranteed thirty eight thousand three fifty. <coughs> Top prize one hundred and forty seven thousand five hundred. I'm gonna assume here that Agarwal has already folded. He looks disinterested. His king jack eight three in the muck as Wiseman all but all in. Action on the Granu. Have not seen his cards yet. The players have to place the cards in the individual boxes. I guess he, he did flash them there. 10, 8, 7, 5, double suited on the button. You have time make right. Does decide to play, makes the call for 500k. Action now on Firth, excuse me, on Muller after Firth folded, and he has the ace-10, three-deuce. 
Yes. Quite a nice double suited. Eight hands. I have an ace. You're good. Hell. <laughs> I have fun, fun cards. And all live. Well, except. Oh. <clears throat> but yeah, it's pretty Deuce, good. Spot. Deuce of Club's a good blocker. Yeah. <laughs> all right. What's the number on this hand? Are you how, how big? Um, 50, 50, small. Yeah. 55, 45, 56, 44. Really? You think 56? Maybe. It's probably 10 of spades. Yeah. Spade. Th th those two cards hurt you. Oh, it's very close. close. I'm a small favorite. Okay. Use of clubs also hurts you. But be, um... He's not worried about a thing. <laughs> I ain't worried about a thing. Because it's so pretty. Oh, it's pretty. Our calculator says it's exactly 50 50. Oh, four in a row. Oh, it's a five. I lied. All right, let's see the flop. Okay. You guys that's, that's a fair fight. Seven. That's a fair yeah, you're ahead. Two spades. Uh, no, you have two pair. Oh, I have two pair. Yeah, yeah that's better. Not, I'm not ahead. <laughs> yeah. I'll take. How about an eight? Give you three pair. Doesn't have to be a spade. <laughs> Why is I think it's a looking card. for a spade? Eight of clubs. No. Nine outs <laughs> twice. <laughs> no, he just says no. We're bargaining, and he says Hell no. Hell yeah. Here's a deuce. Ooh, spade on the turn. Negrano now four outs. He's hit a seven or a five to make You're a full house. You're allowed to say no to a negotiation. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, no. I, yeah. All right, let's see the river card. Five it is the king of well hearts. Done. Thank nice. you. And I'm pretty sure Wiseman I had nuts doubles up. <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh, if I <laughs> folded, you would have called? Of course. Yeah, I had ace, ten, three, deuce, double. Oh, wow. Know. That's actually a weird one. That's a weird one. Ace, uh, ten, deuce, three? Ace, double, ten, double. three, deuce, double. Spades? Yeah, he had spades. I think That's I had nuts, spades. If not, I had... Yeah, because you had ten high spades. Yeah. I didn't have it. Yeah, yeah. I had nuts, spades. Yeah, that turned out great for me, then. Look at this, Donnie. Mori Escondani joining the rail on our YouTube community. Only fair that I wouldn't want to get mixed games tournament winner. I had to win at least one more. My ego couldn't take it. No, it's just PGT tournament mixed games tournament winner now. No more Hall of Fame. Sorry. Big Shack Attack back in the house. Thank you. Five dollar donation. Thank you. Says hey again, Donnie Peters, my Kenmore friend. I got an exciting fact that I just found out, and I'm sure you'll enjoy it. Sorry, guys. What's the fact? Wait, I'm waiting. This is the payback I get for giving you like four massages yesterday. I might, uh, I might drop some YouTube. Community subs in in here. We need some like give me some benchmark. Okay, I'll do I'll do this. When we hit 500 likes on the video, I'll okay. throw I'll throw in an annual oh, subscription yeah. to Pokego.com. Wow. And then you can pick whatever you want to give away. How, well, how many likes? 500. Okay. You guys know what to do. 500 likes will give away hit, an annual. Hit that sub. thumb. Let's go. By the way, I've had some issues with our social. Poker Go email inbox. So if you've won a prize in the past and you haven't gotten it yet, forward that email you initially sent back to the inbox and I'll take a look at it. Because I, unbeknownst to me, got kicked out of that inbox <laughs> and I'm back in now. So I just wanted to tell everyone, if you've won something in the last few months, I don't know how long I was logged out for, just forward it back to me and I'll get to it. By the way, still five-handed here for just tuning in. My name is Rem Korinkin, my Donnie Peters alongside me. Event three of the PGT PLO series. We're just trying to have some fun with it, keep it lighthearted. You buttered me up to steal my big blind, huh? All right, here's a look at the beautiful Las Vegas skyline. I can see my house in the back. It's way in the back, but it is there. Uh, PLO Masterminds, go check them out right now. Learn to win at PLO for free. PLOmastermind.com slash poker go. I'm not kidding. I signed up for this during our first event live stream, and I've been messing around with it. So you guys in the PLO streets in Las Vegas better watch out. I'm coming for you. I think I'm I'm a, I'm a new I'm I'm a newly convinced PLO player. I think I think this is the way forward for me. I should play some PLO tournaments and some PLO cash. I'm starting to see why people love this game so much. But I have to do some more studying. I will be the first to admit that. Negrano here finds pocket aces, because why not? Ace, ace, 10, three. We are oh. coming at you live from the PokerGo studio in Las Vegas. You can come in here and watch you if you aces. want. Do. And there you it is. Do? Yeah. Well, that's bad. <laughs> Wiseman all in. Wow. Bad news for him. Kings. Ace, king. Ace, king, nine, eight for Wiseman. This tournament life are on the line here. I got one of your spades. That's bad for you. It is. 
for those curious payouts in the description of the video. I was, I'm always confused why people don't see the description of the video. Like, don't you see that when you go to a video? Probably watch it on their phones a lot, maybe. Yeah. True. You know. All right, let's see if Wiseman can survive this one. He's gotten there once. Like, can he do it again? Well, Jack, flop. 10, Very 5, <laughs> two Jesus. spades. <laughs> Pretty <laughs> good flop for yeah. him. Who do you think's favorite? Queen you. of spades. Yeah, that one I know. <laughs> Wiseman doesn't have That's a pair, but you can see the equities. He <laughs> is the fair. favorite here. It's a fair. Yeah, to win this hand. Hard for me. <laughs> you know yeah, what I mean? I, you can say no to negotiate. <laughs> no, I say no. <laughs> no to you can ask for five. an ace of clubs. Five of uh, diamonds. Negreanu looking to fade a lot of cards. Turn is the king oh, of hearts. Kills my, kills, one pair. Oh, that's a good card for me. It kills, my, kills my queen isn't out. Oh, now he has an eight nine. Eight, yeah, eight nine king. Queen's a wow, Donnie. Okay. Queen. With one card to come. Wiseman, forty three percent to double up. <laughs> I just said I just said a queen. I wasn't being greedy. I'm just trying to stick around. River card. Okay, is the three of hearts. Faded it. The wow. blank of all blanks. GG. GG. Dylan Johnson. Nice hand, Thanks. Gets sent to the rail by Daniel Negreanu, who is now cool, up to six of them. million <laughs> chips. Maybe the time bank. Yeah. Good game, Dylan. Bye. A little good luck for me. <laughs> Dylan Wiseman. Uh, is that here? Will collect. He was the Thirty-eight thousand three hundred fifty dollars. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so. Dead button. Oh, dead button. Final four guaranteed. So 50K. I get the button twice, basically. Black sauce. Yeah, but you play the small blind when he tried to do the button thing. You played the small blind really well that time. I think you're more of a small blind player. We're button guys over here. I was sliding. <laughs> big. You're a big blind player? No, I'm a under the gun player. <laughs> Me and you, Daniel. Button players, right? This Russian guy used to. This Russian guy, we used to play like pot limit Omaha High Low. And he was like with a very thick Russian accent. He's like, he's ace deuce player. Like ace deuce. You know, like there's some players, like they don't leave home without ace deuce. And he would say, ace deuce player. <laughs> he's ace deuce player. <laughs> it was a small blind. I enjoy playing with the Russian. 75. Yeah, Morozov, I think it's yeah. uh, Oh, sorry. I was trying to get that lucky chip one way or the other. <laughs> one way or another. <laughs> Four fifty. I didn't expect you to do that. <clears throat> Yolo now. I never fold here, but I just fold. I'll give you. I'll give you one. I had you. I had a fucking pair. Ooh. Son of a gun! I had you crushed. And that's sort of nice to be known as a knit. Uh, yeah. <laughs> You're a knit. <laughs> I wanted to rip it in there. No, my hand was not good. Yeah. It wasn't like a, you know. I think I can yeah, call. I didn't have kings. Yeah, that's, that was fun. You had ace, king, 10, 8? I think I had nut hearts <clears throat> or nut. Whatever. Nut hearts and nut whatever. That sounds like a good hand. No. Yeah. <laughs> nut whatever. The ace was nut. I can't even think of a term. It's not the straight, what's the other one? The flush. That's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> you should do that at showdown. <laughs> <laughs> That's a part of my the thing is it's totally genuine. Forget like certain things. Yeah. I was playing a tournament and then like the smallest chips there's a ton of I was like, what chips are we coloring up? Like genuinely. Yeah. <laughs> like, Anuj Agarwal here on the button from Los Angeles, California. Winner of a 10K No Limit event at the 2019 WSOP for 630K. No stranger to high stakes final tables. It was actually the 10K 6 max, Donnie. That is bang, bang. That is the 10K outside, of course, the main event. Got some action brewing here. The man you were just talking about, Agarwal, raised on the button, 525,000. The Grani flatted from the small blind. Bruno Firth pots it out of the big blind.
we definitely got some action here. Agarwal, sort of in an annoying spot. His hand, fine to play a flop with, That's but with the ace-king 4-5, you just don't have too much that connects within your you hand. You make eye contact with me. It's good. Agarwal with the fold. Action back on Agranu, who is going to be out of position. Try suit here for Negreanu. <laughs> Negreanu does look very interested here. Donnie, he has to call a chunk to play a big hand out of position. Does, but I'm, I'm wondering if he's thinking about possibly just putting it in. You got like I got two, right? Three. I never use until the final table, and now it's like serious. Oh, so I'm like, oh, let me think. Little less than three. <laughs> if there was one card in my hand I didn't have. I would have played. Can you guess what that card is? You had the deuce of clubs. Yeah, that obviously. <laughs> you had ace? I had an ace, yeah. You have a queen? It was a suited ace. No, no queen. You have five? No five. A four? No. We were in different ballparks, man. <laughs> <laughs> you had ace, queen, four, five? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I thought you had an ace, too, and I was like, well, maybe he has kings. You have an ace? Mm -hmm. You have a queen? Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> You probably didn't have a four and a five. This is like one of those psychics, no, Donnie, no, that no, said no. he can read your, read the future. And then like, does his read first name price. start with a J? <laughs> uh, K? Pretty L? Good yeah, good go all the way yeah. down the alphabet. Well. Good price, but then I'm like, shit, I gotta pay the Another rest of you yeah. on a lot of flops. Stacks much shallower than they were yesterday at the final table. The ground chip lead not that big anymore after Firth took that one down without showdown. The ground does keep the pressure on. If I was double suited, I would have played. Only had one. I think that was like the that was the cusp. I thought it was because you were the small blind. What? I thought you folded because you were the small blind. You were more like button players. Yeah, that man. Yeah, that's part of it. Yeah. But. In that case, it doesn't matter as much. You don't have, <laughs> any, you don't have any money left. That's why I opened. I was under the gun. I'm an under the gun player. Yeah. <laughs> What's the line? I'm not sure about that one. I have to, I'll have to ask my gurus. I think it was right. You can text me later. Text your guru? I used to guru. <laughs> but yeah, just text me later. I can't because I don't have my phone. I want to run that other hand, too. Just curious. When he said he was favored 56%, I like under. Oh, Ace, and nine, ten, deuce against my yeah, I, I didn't five, seven, eight, ten, double. And the king was a really good card for you, right? That's a terrible card for him. Like when the, Which hand? The, uh, the one where you had aces. Oh, that. Yeah. That was a different one. I was thinking about the one where I oh, no, no. all this. The one where, you, yeah, you had ace, ace, ten. Oh, okay, I got you. Yeah. It's 
I think they're ten. Seven five, yeah. Oh, so yeah, one. Million in the middle already uh, here between Agarwal and Muller. All in. And all in here. Oh, wow. Look at this. Here we Very go. Very quick luck. <coughs> Pot and, and all in. And queens. Wow. Shape. Queens and diamonds for Muller. Agarwal realizing he's in bad you shape. Have diamond, and you have and a gutter. And you have that. And you have this. You have back doors. You have front Russian doors. commentary here from the ground, Donnie. Yeah, why not? It's pretty bad board for me. The diamond would be bad for you. Yeah, who's all in? Anoush? He's all in. Yeah. Deciding who to root for. <laughs> I mean, I go, honestly, I've been friends with Anoush for a long time. I'm rooting yeah. for him. Yeah, I feel <laughs> But like financially. Bruno, we discussed, <laughs> we discussed marsupials together. Marsupials? We yeah. discussed a lot. Me and Anoush have discussed a lot, yeah. <laughs> what's what's, what's a marsupial thing? exactly? They have like a pouch that they carry oh, their young. Animals, yeah. Do you eat them? <laughs> I don't. Whoa. Know. Well, you can. I thought you were all vegan. Yeah, I'm saying you. I didn't say me. I don't. <laughs> I don't Why did you bring the conversation? I saw a guy in California eat a human leg just the other day. I saw that. You clip. see that? He was dragging it in the street. He was eating a fucking leg. You never know what my uncle's Train up to these days. Train accident leg. Your uncle. <laughs> Shout out to Bakersfield. Seven. Okay. So uh, seven of spades on the turn. If you hit one. Agarwal looking story. for one of 11 <laughs> cards a, a leg. Yeah. to keep him in the event. Yeah. He just was eating the leg. <laughs> oh, bro. And, I mean, I, don't I hope know so. If he I was, hope so. <laughs> I don't know if he was wealthy or not, but <laughs> in Haiti, they're just doing it like that, like barbecue. River card, Ace of Hearts. Ace is up. Survive. And Agarwal. Nice hand, nice hand. Saved by the river. Muller now down to 550. Conversation took a little bit of a turn there in the middle of the hand. <laughs> if you had placed a wager on cannibalism being discussed. One point. At this final table, you can now cash your tickets. One. It Four. did legit Three. happen Three. in Bakersfield, Donnie. Uh, I, I read the news article. Left me hamstring and here. I've been to Bakersfield. Yeah, I mean. And if I, I had to bet money on board, where that would have happened, Bakersfield's up there. Would have been one of my top draft picks. Nice Bakersfield yeah. is an odd place. We used to always have the king of Bakersfield in the chat. Haven't seen him in a while. Hope he's doing well. <coughs> There's obviously no hard feelings there, and I obviously respect your opinion on marsupials. <laughs> Likewise. I've asked him like a million animal questions in my life. Too. I'll take the over. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We once had a contest between each other to draw the cutest llama. Yours was cuter, mine was more. Uh, you won. You won. You went to school together? No, no. We went <laughs> we to were, we're adults. school. We're, we're adults, yeah. <laughs> we also had a math competition. We also walked like 12, 13 miles, like two or three separate times. So two times? Oh, just two. One time he saved 40 children from a burning library. True. It was like 20. What? <laughs> I need to know more about that the pot. Story. He said it was only they 25 were children. So they were lighter. Yeah, yeah. High octave voice. Exactly. <laughs> this is like. You assume their collective weight. <laughs> this, is, this final table is taking a turn as far right. as conversation goes. I got dusting chips now. Yeah. <laughs> Lucy goosey. <laughs> Lucy goosey chips, exactly. Agarwal fresh off a double up, seeing a flop here versus Negranu. Quite a lot to fight for in this one. King, queen, three, two hearts. A million in the middle. Negranu with the nut flush draw. Also has a Broadway straight draw to go along with it. Agarwal, face jack. Mmm, that's not fun. Pair, nut flush draw. Oh, damn, I draw. didn't fold you when you were you're saying That's fine. No, no, I don't, I'll show you my hand. You can call. <laughs> you can go all in. I'll still call. <laughs> yeah, nice. <man. clears throat> Negron, new eclipsing six million in chips now. Daniel making what is his eighth cash on the PGT this season. That is the most of any player. I believe it was Jeremy Osmus who he was tied with prior to this run here into the money of event three. 
at the PGT PLO series presented by PLO Mastermind. Daniel Gillett is asking in the chat, what on earth is happening at this table? You are asking the right question, sir. You tell us. Tell us what's going on here. Oh, not this one. I don't like the button, so. It's because you're an under the gun player, sir. Three fifty the raise on the button gets it done. How many hands? How many hands? <coughs> For Agarwal. Two hands. Okay. Two hands left before the blinds go up. So look again at that Las Vegas skyline to remind you of the MTT strategy workshop that we are organizing here at the PokerGo Studio, April five, six, and seven. This includes a U.S. Poker Open satellite tournament, so who knows, you might be spending some more time here inside the studio. Go to get.pokego.com slash strategy to register right now. Only limited seats available. Could be a cool little spring trip to Las Vegas if you are interested in learning from the best. Agarwal finds aces. He said he was more of an under the gun player, so... Here we go. This uh, suits him just fine. He should have said, under the gun I'm under the gun now. This is my spot. And then, <laughs> boom, raise. Yeah. All right. Well, what am I even looking for? We gotta go with that, right? No, well, no. What if you have quads? <laughs> oh, no, we gotta, we gotta look and make sure we don't have quads. Yeah, like we threes. don't have quads. We don't have quads. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, maybe me and Bruno get out of line. <coughs> Firth makes the call from we the small blind. Something. Muller's in there. He is all <laughs> in. Something. He did that. Mad quad deuces. <laughs> yeah. All right, so we have Muller at risk. Jack is going to be hard to find, but there is still one available as King Seven Deuce rolls off the deck. Agarwal's aces still in the lead here. Muller does pick up a flush draw. He's the only one with clubs. Quick check, check. Six of spades on the turn. Ace is still in the lead here, but only by a narrow margin. Beautiful. All right, right the protection for the triple close. up. We have aces with the. Uh, I got lots of outs, guys. I would imagine. Mm -hmm. I got lots of outs. Mm -hmm. a jack, a 17 club. outs for Muller. That's a the nine. A four. Oh, no, four or nine. Jeez, you have everything. You're the real I nice can't hit. lose, Daniel. I don't think you can. Famous last words, right? I really don't see how you lose. I just really hope it's not a nine. <laughs> I hope you win a different way. <laughs> like, not a nine. Yeah, you. an eight, eight ten. ten. Oh, yeah. All right, Muller at risk here. 1.35 million in the middle. 17 Good outs. Can there? someone yeah. in the chat tell me Earth. what's the most outs you can have in PLO without being That's you. ahead? Hey, guys. And here it is, five of hearts on the river. Muller does misses all his draws. And Muller hits the rail Daniel in Bruno. fourth place. Yes. Good playing with Curtis You're Muller, PLO blind. Mastermind coach. By the way, go check them out. PLOMastermind.com slash PokerGo. Sign up for free. Try their software out right now. I did tell Bruno, like, at level 50, 1. 5, we're going to play heads up. He did. Yeah. Yeah. Well, sorry to hopefully ruin your plan. Sorry to hopefully? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Apologizing for the future yeah. kind of makes it's, your apology not worth very much. I mean, you're probably much. the peak third guy to have at the table. Just in yeah. the entertainment. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you keep yeah, if we, had, if we had to pick, if yeah. we knew we were going to be heads up and had to pick yeah. third-handed, like, you're, you're pretty high, yeah. Right. I don't guy, know if I would have picked you out of the whole crowd, but, like, you're definitely <laughs> up there. Probably the guy we were both watching. Big blind. Another one. Another one. Another one. Pretty dusty. Badoogie. 
That sounds fun to play bad cards like that. Maybe I should start playing Badoogie. Badoogie? Yeah. What's your favorite mix skin? Stud eight or better? <laughs> Doesn't sound exciting, but it's when I was in the late 90s, I did. It's probably the only one, one of the few, who did actual simulations on Stud 8. There was a software on a floppy disk called Poker Pro, Mike Harrell's Poker Pro. Stick it in, and it would take like a few hours, and it would give you like just the percentages. Just the percentages. Well, what else do you need? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's like actually in Stud 8, that's a very important, you know, understanding on 5th Street and 6th Street, knowing like if you're ahead or not of ranges. Are they, are they really that difficult to manually calculate? What, with your hands, I mean? Like, yeah, yeah just I percentages. Think so. I think with high-low, they are. Because well, all, they would just be like because a, you have a to couple conditional in, probability. You have to factor in chop pots, right? Which is a little more difficult. Five fifty. Earth coming in with the raise here, 550,000 on the button. Action over to the chip leader, Negranu in the big blind. He's in there for a call. Heads up here to the flop. Queen, nine, six, rainbow. Top two pair for Negranu, queens and nines. That nine on the turn, improving Daniel to a full house. He cannot lose this hand, as long as he doesn't fold. Daniel is first, 1.4 out there. 450,000 is the wager. Firth here is operating with two pair, queens and nines with that king kicker. Also has a gutter to a straight, but it would of course be no good if he hits it, because Daniel's got a full house. <laughs> He's in there though, making the call. Seven of diamonds on the river. 2.3 million out there. Let's see what sort of sizing Daniel comes with here. With the stacks all running as close as they currently are, every single hand having massive implications. First, one point seven does have the queen on the heftier side, which, at least from first initial reaction, seems like he's a little bit surprised. Piqued his interest quite a bit. One point seven and two point three. does represent just about half of what Firth has oh. behind. Makes the call. He's going to get shown the bad news here. Wow. Massive pickup for Negranu. Gets basically maximum value here from Firth. This pod worth 5.7 million chips. Negranu now sitting on 8.8 .8 million. And Firth all of a sudden down to just seven big blinds. Things are looking fantastic for Negranu. Daniel Negranu cruising up over 8.7 million here. Firth tumbles down the leaderboard. Still in it, though. Still in it. Just under eight big blinds for Firth. He is going to start this one on the big blind, though. So big blind Annie goes in plus that big blind out there. There. I mean, Negrano, Daniel. not going to slow down now. No, definitely not. King, King, 9-7. If Firth finds anything playable, we might see him risk it all here. Firth 
Firth probably thinking to himself, I am at a big disadvantage here. Maybe I should just go for it. Doesn't seem too happy though. And look at that, we just hit 500 likes on the video, which means I'm going to give away an annual subscription to Poker Go. To be eligible for the annual subscription, all you have to do is like the video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you're catching us on PokerGo.com, which is also possible, just just throw the YouTube browser open. Because why not? Do another giveaway in just a minute or two. And there it is, Donnie Peters gifting 20 YouTube community memberships. Let's go. Love to see it. Uh, YouTube community memberships gives you access to some exclusive content that we have available behind in our YouTube community. Also gives you cool emojis and your name in a cool little Fine. green color for the chat. So that way we all say, always notice when you're getting involved in the chat. I just want people to drop the, the Negranu emoji. <laughs> That's what I want. Uh, speaking of Negranu, he keeps the pressure on quickly closing in on that 10 million chip mark. <laughs> Payouts right now, the final three guaranteed $64,000. Second 91K and first 147. This is only a 5K buy-in, so quite a nice payout for the remaining three. I have a funny giveaway question. Let's see what this happens in this hand. Well, well, well we're going to wait because Firth might end up all in here. Oh, here we go. Firth raising. You see a flop, huh? Yeah, you never know. You get away. What if 700 I don't hit anything? Mm -hmm. Hot size <laughs> raise. Yeah, the then I might win, you know? Well, I feel like you're putting it in, so that's both of them hit anything. No, that's good you never you. know. We'll see. We'll see what comes. Well, Eight, that six, looks like seven. somebody's going to have to hit something Two clubs. There, right? <laughs> Negrano just tossing it in there. As Firth only has 375 left behind. Pretty bad flop for you. I mean, this is like the worst flop Firth could have ever seen. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> this is a headache for Firth. I'm sure he's... Hmm? <laughs> no, just kidding. When the Omaha has one card, who cares? Yeah. No, it no, really I doesn't get much worse, Donnie. Sometimes it's bad. I think I feel like it's beneficial to no, have I someone mean, this to see. This is just kind of wild. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. This is so bad okay. for him. Ace King. Ace Queen three deuce. Oh fuck. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah. It's a pretty big whiff. Wow. I mean, there's not even the single yeah, heart out there. Like, it's just nothing. Queen. Oh my like, god. It was all me. Me missing everything. <laughs> I had Queen nine ten clubs. Yeah. Wow. Firth now down to. I guess I'm all in. Just so shy of big two bigs. First, right? All right. Well. We'll do our giveaway after after whatever happens we on this hand, because Firth is going to be at risk. He, of course, has to post the big blind, big blind ante and the big blind. The big blind ante does not count towards the pot size raise before the flop, just so everyone knows. Does drive some action. Could see Agarwal limp in here just to try and get this thing down to heads up play. Okay. Exactly that. <laughs> <laughs> Agarwal limping in. Agarano calls, and we have three way action going to the flop with Firth at risk. It was all in from the big blind. King 9-9 nine, nine on the flop. I mean, Firth at least has a king. Agarwal, however, has a 9. So, bad news. Buddy protection? No. <laughs> <laughs> you're, yeah. like, you're like, this will not happen. Full house now for Agarwal. 
He's got a lock on this one. I'm not All drawing dead. 300k. What? I'm just gonna fold. I probably have it. Man, he still wasn't drawn dead. He was because the queen Club. of clubs is no, the one who don't need it. Yeah. Never mind. I had, but I had the queen clubs. Oh, you did. I had ten jack of clubs. <laughs> I was drawn dead. <laughs> That's sick. Oh, yeah, well, that's dead. Not even a seven. No. With that, yeah. GG. Firth eliminated. Uh, Bruno Firth. Good game, buddy. Nice showing here at this final table. Collects fifty. Excuse me, sixty-four thousand nine hundred dollars for his third place finish. We're gonna see Daniel Legrano heads up, ladies and gentlemen. Show us some love in the chat. This is gonna be a fun one. The stacks are not too deep. We might see a lot of all-in action here as Agarwal and Negranu are going to battle it out for uh, this, this championship one, it trophy. Second place yeah, guaranteed ninety-one thousand four hundred fifty dollars. First oh. one forty-seven five hundred. And this is the magic that we have here in the studio. That's my we cut out the so break, so you guys don't have to sit and pot, wait. Pot, hip hop, hip hop, anonymous. Pot, pot, pooey. Oh, this box now? You want me to move over over here? I had three fives. I had that. Oh, so they want me to sit here? He said, I'm not going to sit here and put my chips in the cup. Well, what do you want? Where do you want? You want it from this box? Oh, just for this hand. Okay. Just for this hand is all he needed. Oh, okay, I got, got it. it. Okay, so now I go back. Yeah, now you go. You're good. Got it. That was overkill. Yes. King, king, yeah, nine, nine versus five, 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 I have, three. I had one, yeah. Yeah, it's a bad solid. beat for you that I can't What, do you have five, five, what? Five, 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 three. Oh, three fives? <laughs> That's what I'm saying, yeah. Hand. Way too much hand, way too little. I was, I was happy to play one there. Yeah, exactly. You're like, you're going to flat a lot of things, right? Wait, can am I, I in a few button? Yes, graphics, okay. less stats, stats so issues, we'll get those figured out. I mean, I guess that's how it always is. All right, for the giveaway. Tell me in the chat a Daniel Negreanu fact. Oh. It can, it can be anything. There's no wrong answers. I just want everyone to participate. Oh, okay. I'm going to draw a random winner of all the submissions. Okay. Tell me a Daniel Negreanu uh, fact in the chat. All you have to do is like the video and subscribe to our YouTube channel to be eligible. I'm giving away an annual subscription to PokerGo.com. Mm. That will get you set up Better to watch me. the yeah. latest season of High Stakes yeah, Poker and, of course, the That's upcoming World Series of Poker. So yeah. quite a nice one. Agarwal versus Negranu. Battling it out for the title and the trophy. Negranu chip leader with 50 bigs versus Agarwal's 20-ish. 20-something. Oh, yeah. Negranu facts rolling in. You think any of these are true? I'm a, I might have to fact check some of these. <laughs> <laughs> well, one says Vegas Knights fan. That, that one's true. <laughs> he resides in Vegas. That one's also true. He's a vegan dog lover. Got it. Wait, vegan dogs? What is what is a... I think they meant vegan <laughs> and a dog lover. Oh, He's from you, Toronto. I thought, Bang. You meant, I thought you meant tofu dogs. <laughs> uh, action here in Negrano. Raising it up to 600K. Agarwal is going to come along and make the call. Nice looking hand here for Daniel. Jack 10, 8, 7, double suited. Ace, 9, deuce. Two spades out there. By the way, shout out to Jason Zambricki. This is why you're a member. He just st sticks out right away. Zambricki has been a member for nine months. He says, Daniel Grano, fact, never lost in the NHL playoffs. There you go. If you don't play in the playoffs, you can't lose in the playoffs. I'm going to give it a few more minutes for me to draw a random winner who gets the annual subscription. By the way, just so you know, we're streaming live every single day until Friday when we have our 25K PLO Championship final table. Negrano here, a big favorite, but with three spades out there, he's not going to be inclined to invest a lot of chips into this pot. Question now One is Agarwal. I had such a beautiful hand. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Another double suited. Seven, eight, ten, jack, double. Oh, no, seven, oh. Not spades. <laughs> Man. Quick fold here from the Grano. Such a pretty one. The last one I have, nine, ten, jack, queen, double. A lot of good turn cards. That one wasn't the greatest. Yeah. Agarwal. I was wrapped around that up. nine of diamonds.
600. As quick as it has gone in the last 30 minutes, this heads a battle far from over. Agarwal chipping up immediately here at the start. Whenever you hear the beats, you know something big is coming up. And here is Mr. Lucky Chewy to remind you that Octopi Poker wants to send you to the Poker Masters. Enter the free social media giveaway for a chance to win. Go to pokerco.com slash winmasters to enter the free social media giveaway. And you might win a seat into event one of the 2024 Poker Masters presented by Octopi Poker. All right, after this hand, I'll draw a winner. Last chance. Make sure you're sub to the channel. Make sure you like the video. Well, that was quick. Hmm? If I had even one suit, I'd call. 10, 9, that 7. That was seven. quick. I had two queens. All right. I feel like Copy, 10, 9, paste. 7, 6 ring, but it's just. Oh, you had Badoogie? Yeah. If I had even one suit, probably should call. Yeah. yeah. All right, winner of the giveaway, Kevin Reed. Kevin Reed, congratulations. Please email social at pokergo.com. Include a screenshot of you logged into your YouTube account so we can verify. I will be in touch and credit you with a year of PokerGo action. Six hundred. Ace King, Queen Nine here for Negreanu on the button. Comes in with the raise. Six hundred thousand. Saw a lot of great Negreanu facts spammed by you in the chat. There's a lot. There's a lot of the ones that I would like to ask Daniel about, because Craig said worked at Subway. Monster again. Love to I know that. King three nine eight. Yeah, you have blocking two of them. Yeah, uh, two, you get the king nine? King, yeah, king nine, eight, three, and king three of club. I don't even know what to do there. It's probably not a good, it's just so disconnected. Yeah. I feel as though Daniel isn't really known as a PLO player, but I feel like he does extremely well in this game. Like, in a way, he's well, yeah. underrated when it comes to PLO specifically. Well, you know why that is. Why is that? He's a post-flop player. <laughs> got it, got it, got it. I think that the post-flop game that Negreanu has in Pot Limit Omaha it shines through even more. All right, let's sure. flop. All right. Finally. Let's play some. <laughs> None of this folding. <laughs> Speaking <laughs> of post-flop. Lucky turn. Yeah. Yeah. Had a decent hand, but yeah. wasn't my board. Heads up, they go up every 20, you said, right? Heads up, they go up every 20 minutes? Oh, because it's 30, yeah. You just draw for the hand that you Yeah. Another good looking one here for Nagranu. Ace King in spades. 
Coming along with a couple of sevens as well, in for a raise. Albert says, I feel like PLO is a lot quicker than Old Limit Hold'em. It really depends. Pod Limit Omaha, in a way, Getting gives you yeah. a lot Ace more room to suited, be patient. Pair of sevens. But with the introduction of the big line anti Donnie, if we both get a really good hand, then we can just go play the next one. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. the, the, one of us that always has dust. Yeah. Yeah. The very little. Uh, it's pretty. Yeah. I guess you know, we're not. Trying. I'm sure we'll put it in quick at some point. Hmm. Pretty quick. Six hundred. Well, see, I mean, like. Wow, I had your seven blocking it. And you had the seven too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just to Just totally. For fun. You had my spades too. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah. yeah, I did. Yeah. See what I'm saying? It's yeah, like exactly. Not even. Yeah, it's like one of us has. You have a big, big hand. hand. I have yeah. trips. I have a yeah. big hand. You have trips. You have kings and nines. I have five, 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 three. Probably not exciting to watch. It's all right. It will be. Wins. Yeah, 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 for sure. I'm missing a, a chip's falling in here. Okay, I get it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Yes. Yep. Is that a play? <laughs> Got it. Again, dominated. <laughs> yeah, like every hand. Yeah. It's like whatever you have that's bad, the other guy yeah. has it destroyed. Like the guy with the terrible cards are running good right or now. Or not even yeah. just terrible, they're like dominated. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like not even give me one card differently to make me call, you know? But yeah. Donnie, give us an update on the PGT overall standings. I know that Negrano has had some caches already. No. Or were they the buy-ins too low? He didn't have any caches. Oh, all right. That's not close. Rare no, I mean on the overall standings for the year. Oh, for the PGT. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah overall sorry. PGT sorry. standings. Yeah. So, my fault. I was thinking just PLO series. Okay. Um, Overall, PGT leaderboard, you have David Coleman up on top, largely because of the success he had at the PGT kickoff series. But Dylan Wiseman is closing the gap. Daniel Negreanu came into this event in fifth place on the leaderboard. Depending on how he finishes here, we'll determine where he goes. I believe he can move up into third place with a victory. So... That I think would be the well. That would be the top three if Daniel wins. It would go Coleman, then Wiseman, then Negreanu. Yeah. If Daniel doesn't win, then Kristen Foxen would remain in third, and I believe Daniel jumps up into fourth. Got Jonathan Littles up there in the top five currently right now. Of course, depending on how this finishes, David Peters, Jeremy Osmus, Aram Zobian, all Full doing house. well within the top ten. Sneaky, sneaky. I had a set. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> trips. I, was, I meant to say trips. Yeah. I was like, a good check back at East Coast. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't have much. It was a good play for me to think about. Both. You can find the overall standings on pgt.com. <laughs> free to find the bet. Yeah. You flop. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, I had a gut shot, like, for a straight. So. I'm rooting for you. Whatever you need. <laughs> yeah, you're like, get there. Yeah. <laughs> Again, kind of a bailout that it just break the board. By the way, Donnie, big Shack Tech again with the donation, ten dollars this time. His exciting fact that he is sharing with us today, Donnie. What do we got? It's basically that you guys are related in some way. What? Nah, jokes aside. Uh, he said that his, <laughs> according to my dad, is what Big Shack Tech says, my grandfather oh, grew up monster. on Kinsley yeah. Avenue <laughs> yeah. as well as his parents. <laughs> so you guys are basically neighbors. I don't know what what, 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 uh, what number <laughs> house? Yeah, no, yeah. It's ever, I was yeah. 14. Like, I want to we play. The first, like, literally the never, first like, house. Like, there was a bar on the corner. Yeah, and then. Our house. Oh man.
for those who haven't tuned into all the streams, Big Shack Tack and Donnie Peters found out that they basically grew up in the same town. Now the plot <laughs> thickens, and they basically turned out to live in the same street. I mean, Big Shack Attack could, for whatever reason, like be my brother trolling me with some sort of <laughs> YouTube so name. I mean, <laughs> who knows exactly. at this point? I at the starting spot. I like 4.6. 4.7. Right. 4 <laughs> Six. What I find really funny, as Nagarn looks down at Trip Jax, is that I've been watching the 2015 main event mm -hmm. that we have been posting on YouTube. <laughs> Nagrano looks younger <laughs> now. What the fuck? <laughs> 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 I mean, years King ago. Queen Nine, yeah. Jesus. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think I, I he's... I could have played like a lot of poker players as a... Straight draw. I feel like it's just either a jam, even. <laughs> just like, all right, maybe Jack. Well, my hand? Yeah. No. no I'm kidding, yeah, yeah. Has yeah, put a I newfound have, emphasis like, on his health. You, have, like, you know, seven I think that that's anything. kind oh, of a general theme around yeah, the poker community, especially with the players. I had, you know? I had, I almost played. I had two suits. Yeah, yeah. No, I think I would fold too. I mean, also helps when you get your hair all ninety-five done right, like, lined up. Flops are bad. Right yeah, trips are not a good hand. Almost every flop, flop is like, bad for you to play. It's a pre-flop battle. Mm. Trips. All right. We've had trips four times or something. Heads up. We finally got some action. 1.8. 1 1.8. 1 so that's six. One. One eight, right? Yeah. Here we go. To the flop we go. <laughs> I'm going to see a flop here with 3.8 million Pot. in the middle. Negron, you raised on the button. Agarwal, three bet. Negron, you sure. made the call. Jack, eight, five here. No pair. Negron, really doesn't have much to Big battle chair. with on this flop. Big pot. Nice. He's going to get out of the way. Yeah. yeah. Agarwal like shows those aces. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But I was like right around all a nice that. One yeah. here. No pair. I was like, okay, good. He probably doesn't seem like it's I was double there. suited, wrapped yeah, around yeah. stuff, but... Any pair. <laughs> I feel like Agarwal is, you know, sort of quietly chatting his way into closing in on that chip lead. Yeah, very, very close in chips now. Less than four big blinds separating these two players. Really anyone's game at this point. Donnie again well, with a 10 close, membership yeah. giveaway. Yeah, I, listen, we hit 1,000 likes. I felt like I had to do something. I know we didn't announce that anything would be coming, but we appreciate all Six. of those out there who are tuning in on the Poker Go YouTube channel. Of course, everyone that's on Poker Go as well. Love you guys. Thank you so much. And then elsewhere in the world, wherever you're watching from, big shout out to you for tuning in, listening to our nonsense. Yeah, if you're not a Poker Go subscriber, you can just highly recommend you because the new season of high stakes poker is fire like literal fire it's just <laughs> absurd some crazy hands shout out justin gavry who's Six. been Six. getting some crazy bad beats as a ground about 600k agarwal decent sized favorite here this is basically for the chip lead 2.2 oh wow here we go agarwal raising it up Negrano with a decision to make here. He is open-ended, but Tony, he doesn't have a whole lot more going for him. Does think better of it, gives it up. Good turn. Two pair and a four six. I Agarwal four, six shows six his hand yeah. there. Yeah, and a pair. Yeah. A four six and a pair. Dream turn. Yeah. Yeah. And that does mean the chip lead does swing on over to Agarwal here. He's up to 8.4 million. Daniel yeah, Negreanu, yeah, for yeah, the yeah. first time at this Even final table to today, so like any pair, is like, not oh, yeah. in the chip yeah. lead. And the 4-6, you had me locked in jail. What do you guys think? What do you guys think out there in chat on Poker Go in the YouTube channel? Do you think Daniel's going to be able to flip it back? Get back out in front, hopefully close this thing off, or... Is Agarwal there going to 
end up taking this one down. Take it from Kid Poker. Mentioned earlier, this is the eighth PGT cash for Negreanu this season, but he has yet to find a victory. The event he won this year was technically part of the 2023 PGT season. So as it pertains to the 2024 PGT season, Negreanu has had a lot of success so far, a lot of deep runs, again, making his eighth cash, but he has yet to find himself in the winner's circle. King 6-4, six, a couple of clubs out there here, 1.4 million in the middle. Agarwal first to act, comes with 600,000. Two pair. Negron Two pair good. gives it up. Agarwal shows again. Not so sure I'd be showing all my hands to somebody like Daniel Negron you know, Just giving him max information. But friendly game nonetheless. I know my colleague Remco Rinkimo was mentioning the season of high stakes poker. We are currently running a special promotion for anyone who wants to join Poker Go as an annual subscriber. If you are a monthly or a quarterly subscriber, you can upgrade. Use the promo code HSP12 half. Thirty dollars off Check. your first year until the end of this month. So hop on in there, get yourself prepared for the upcoming World Series of Poker. Enjoy some high stakes poker along the way. Sure. Ace 10 deuce here, rainbow. Top and bottom pair for Argerwall. It's been the Argerwall show here during heads up play. This could be some bad timing for Daniel. Comes with the check raise. Daniel may be feeling, uh, you know, at some point he's got to kind of fight back. Shakes the head and telling me he's probably going to go into the muck. There it is. Wow. Aces up. That's why I limped. It's like yeah. dusty hand. But yeah. Like I was saying when you stepped out of the room, Remco, Agarwal's been showing every hand. Yeah. I'm not sure if that's the best strategy against Daniel and Legrano. I, <laughs> I know these two are, are playing a very friendly game of poker, certainly very chatty, but I'm not sure I'd be willing to be given Daniel all the strategy, all the insight into the hands, right? Agarwal, the owner of Connoisseur Cards, sports cards and memorabilia. More sports cards? We need Agarwal. Is this like a Blesnik competitor? Yeah, I was going to say, we need Agarwal <laughs> versus Blesnik heads up in a PLO tournament at some point, and they both can, can break, some, break, some, uh, break some cards. That'd be fun to watch. Nice hand here for Daniel. Blinds are up to 125,250k. Oh, and it's just uh, playable one. Playable one yeah. for Agarwal. Queen Jack 10 9 for Negrano, making it 750 to All go. Right, we'll Negrano needs to win some hands. Fair. Yeah, he's he's sliding in the wrong direction. Big one here. This one would be a good one for him to get things back on track. 1.75 million out there. Okay, this is a good start for Negrano. King, queen, four on the flop. He's Five finally minutes. got the better of it on the flop. Monster. Yeah, nice yeah had a, all that stuff going on. Yeah, you had it all. Yeah. Let me quickly remind you that we have the Texas Poker Open coming up yeah, from dude. Champions Club Houston. $2 million guaranteed no limit hold'em tournament at the Champions Club in Houston. $3,300 buy-in. Multiple starting flights, including a turbo starting flight if you're in a bit of a rush. Starting on Wednesday, April 24th with Day 1A. Side events, satellites, and cash games running every single day. The stakes go up as well as we have a PGT high roller 10K buy-in and also a 10K PLO high roller as well. 
Uh, find out more information on PGT.com. You can read the article that we posted about the Texas Poker Open. By the way, pretty dope logo. I have to say so myself. Um, yeah, go check that out. It is in Houston, April 24th through May 5th. So if you play cards, if you are able to come to Houston, go do so. Jeff Platt and Brent Hanks will be there. They're also doing live commentary on the streams. So that should be quite the party at Champions Club. One unique thing about Champions Club is they have a hotel connected to that poker room, championsclubtexas.com. If you're interested in heading to the Texas Poker Open, you can book right through that website, <laughs> championsclubtexas.com. I think it's more than 70 rooms in the hotel are right attached to it. So oh. pretty cool. Also, Donnie, I've seen photos of the food on at the venue. looks insane. Yeah. They have like I the think best you can get like a flaming steak just yes. delivered right to the table. I mean We got more than two million in the middle here, getting back to the action. Hargerwall raised on the button, Negranu called. Negranu check called five hundred K on the flop. Check check on the turn, 900. bringing us to this river, and Negranu's coming. I think he said nine hundred, yes. Negranu does have the best of it here. But okay, this is not okay. a <laughs> I have to either Ace high? <laughs> yeah, I have to either rip it. Rip it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you're thinking about ripping it? Yeah. It's it would have worked if you ripped it. Yeah, yeah. Nice right. Everyone just show and tell. No, I, mean, <laughs> I had you beat, show but and tell, I wouldn't yeah, yeah, yeah. call all of it. No, it was a good bet. Was a good bet. You called the turn? Eh, if you pot it, no. If you pot it, no. Yeah, I get missed. If you bet small, you, you, yeah, I was, I like you bet third pot, I call, but yeah, if you bet yeah. pot, I'm obviously on that board. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not chasing with a pair. Right, right, right. You just be behind queens or something. Mm -hmm. If you're uh, enjoying the stream, please make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel. We very much appreciate it. By the way, welcome to TR joining us on the rail. I also see Romanian Mike in the chat, one of our community members. Let's go. Five to nine and SD. Shout outs aplenty if you are a member of our YouTube community. Negrano here, Queen Jack 750. And there it is, 750 again. The new term I learned today is tri suit, <laughs> meaning you have three different suits, which also means you have one suited combo. In this case, Negrano has that tri suit. Here's the flop. Jack 5, 10. Yeah. Two clubs. Clubs for Agarwal. Jack, jacks and fives for Negrano. He bets pot. Oh boy. Given Agarwal's aggressive style leading up to this point during the heads of battle, I could see him get involved here. This might just end up getting oh, in. God. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> wow. Agarwal raises pot. The ground is deciding for his tournament life. Two pair. Yeah, I mean, his mannerisms there. I mean, Daniel doesn't like it or love it, but we can see. He's got 58% <laughs> here. He looks pretty good, so I think the money's ultimately going to go in, and Daniel's going to be a bit surprised at, you know, where he is in this hand, maybe, but Four million he did say, you know, I kind of wish I checked behind, so. Any back doors? Back door is shut. <laughs> back door is shut. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of interesting how Negrano has one club, and Agarwal has one club Three he doesn't outs? need. <laughs> so there's two fewer outs for Agarwal on that flush draw. This thus ends up being an all-in. Two outs if you have that. <laughs> all right. I'm in. I'm all in. Yeah. Uh, you're live probably. I mean, Here we go. Wow. Yeah, you have the draw. Okay. I have jacks up. I was like, oh, if you okay, have yeah, jack yeah. 10 or 10-10, ten, ten, I'm dead. But now, yeah, what do you yeah. have? You have a nine or a club? Nine or now club. you feel pretty good. I'm okay. And I got two yeah. clubs. Exactly. And I have one club. Oh. <laughs> Negrano removing an out here from Agarwal who needs... A club yeah, or a nine? Like yeah. <laughs> Dude, but a yeah. Huge turn card coming up. 
Let us know in the chat. Call for your cards. So this is pretty much, am I all in or are you? I'm, no, I think you have more. Okay. Yeah. I got 5.7 here. Yeah, you got more. Negrano is the player at risk. Turn card. Ooh, Seven of diamonds. Holy smokesies. I mean, wow. He picked up the wrap. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay, so pair the board, I guess. 50 50 here. 20 outs. Huh? Yeah. I mean, 50 matter, 50, one card oh, to go. Right. Oh, so the seven of clubs is no good for you anymore. Oh, okay. that. Half the deck. Well, it's a fair fight. For Agarwal to end it right here. Whatever happens. Yeah, whatever yeah, happens. Yeah, we did it. You yeah, know, we, we did, did what it. we did. The cards, the cards played themselves. Oh, my God. What a draw here for Agarwal. River card, hell. ace oh, of baby. hearts. Wow. Okay. And so Negranu somehow fades it. Two, three, four. Oh, baby is right. Five million. 5.75. Okay, poker finds a Sick. double up, and it's a big one. <laughs> nice. <laughs> that turn card. Oh, yeah. What a I dodged massive another one earlier with run out. King with Dylan. That's, that's, that's quite a hold. <laughs> quite a hold. Agarwal is going to be left with just 1.5 million. I mean, Negranu, uh, now we got to see if you're a closer okay, so because this is, is a massive chip lead. 53 big blinds for Negrano versus six big blinds for Agarwal, who, Donnie, I mean, he was kind of dominating this heads-up battle. That's fine. He was. I mean, four. early on, it was kind of just like nothing so was really happening, but then he got that big double up or, oh, okay. or won that big That's pocket and closed like the gap. 5.5? Just kind of stretched it out from there. Oh, okay, yeah. And then as we saw right there, I mean, a coin flip. To, to, you know, wow. a coin flip. It goes Agarwal's way, he's the champion. It goes Daniel's way, and now Agarwal's got a big mountain to climb. That one up. With all the clubs yes, in there? Just, I have so many wraps. You have the wrap and the flush? But I don't have it. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, what do I need? I guess I only get pick up one more out for the straight, because it's the same straight. Oh, oh no, I pick no. up more. Yeah, pick a up lot all more. the wrap. Yeah, yeah. You got the four, the six, and the eight now. Three also. You had only a nine, and now you have the... Th Huh? You told me 20 outs. 20 outs. 20 outs. Okay, thank you. <laughs> That's a lot of outs. Yep. Half the deck, well, indeed, for Agarwal. Well, now, you know. Donnie, can PLO, you have more than 20 outs? Play great now. Both yeah, of yeah, for sure. I have no idea. It, it barely fit on the screen. <laughs> it barely fit on the screen. Uh, Agarwal here looking to mount a comeback. Six big blinds. Can Daniel Legrano close it out? That is the question. Also, keep in mind, we have the big line ante in play. So this is going to be very pricey for Agarwal. I mean, this is going in, right? Ace, five, four, three, double suited. 750. 750. Comes with the pot raise. Half a stack in the middle. Yeah, we're, we're starting okay. in that pot. direction. Yeah, All this right. is going oh, in. Wow. Here good we luck. go. Okay. Good luck, good luck. Got a good one. Oh, yeah. yeah. Ace, king, queen, oh, double suited nine too? for Negranu. Yeah. Another. Low or high? <laughs> yeah, right? Lower so high. Or middle cards, which you win. So I guess it's Well, it depends which middle, right? Yeah, Six, yeah. seven, eight. That's true. I have a lot of the middle. One big Negr card on the flop. Good for me. Negranu on the brink of closing this one out. But still, we're looking at a coin flip situation here. Negranu, by the way, at his seventh final table of the year. And it is still only March. Can he win this one? That's King a, Jack very three, good, pretty for strong for you. You have a three, right? I like my hand. That's good. Negrano, <laughs> you, have you have any two pairs still? Can make a royal flush. Just saying. Ten of clubs. It is out there. Royal flush draw. <laughs> Put me out of my misery. Agarwal looking for a three, a yeah, five, I'm or a four. I'm pretty dead here. No, two pair. Turn card. Oh, wrong one. Oh, is no, the yeah, deuce so. of GG. clubs? <laughs> good game, buddy. Really and that is game. it. Absolutely. Congrats. Yeah. All right. Daniel Legrano takes down event three Good of the though. PGT PLO series. Anush Agarwal collects $1,450. Yeah, I, I, I had a 10. I missed Ace, Ace, Ace takes uh, home $147,500. Oh, yeah, 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 so I'm like, yeah. well, he no, limped. I limped. He probably doesn't have yeah, Ace yeah, 10. Yeah. I took a, and and a I blocked set of 10, so yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah. unless he has Ace Deuce. I missed the bet probably with that Ace Queen Jack 9. I should probably bet the turn. Oh, because you had nothing. Yeah, I had nothing. And like, I, I have a more big Yeah, I, than Honestly, I turned my hand into a bluff, but I had a four. Oh, okay. I just, but I was kind of bluffing yeah, in yeah, case. Yeah. No, if I bet five. half pot turn, you just give up. Yeah, yeah, yeah of I course. Yeah, so. Well, GG, well played. GG, bud. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Appreciate it. Well done, Daniel Negreanu. Yeah. He takes home <laughs> that was a wild the trophy the and the cash. Here's a look at our upcoming schedule. By the way, if you enjoyed this stream, please pass us a like. Please subscribe to the t channel. Turn on 
post notifications. We are live again tomorrow with the final table of the 10K PLO. Negrano has already hopped into the next event. You can follow the live reporting on PGT.com if you want to see how Negrano is doing in the very next event. My name is Remco Rinkema. Donnie Peters was alongside me. It's been an honor and a pleasure to call the action for you all today. There's a look at the beautiful Las Vegas skyline as we close things out here from the Poker Go studio. We'll catch you all tomorrow at 1 p.m. Pacific time, 4 p.m. Eastern, 10 p.m. Central European time. And who knows, maybe Negrano will be back. But one thing's for sure, Donnie and I will be there. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you tomorrow.